Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install or set up FTP server using Windows 2012. In this demo, we'll be learning how to install FTP feature in Windows 2012. All you need to do is basically go ahead and enable the feature in Windows 2012. And number two, how to configure FTP server. Once we uh, enable the feature, FTP feature in Windows 2012, we'll go ahead and configure FTP server. And how to create FTP users, you do need to create users so other folks can come and access your FTP. And how to authenticate FTP users to access FTP server data, whether you wanted to give those users read access or read or write access. And number five, how to use port other than 21. 21, keep in mind, is default port of FTP. And in this demo, we'll be using port other than 21 and one other reason that I am not using uh, port 21 is my ISP provider has blocked this port and it may be uh, in your case as well so if that's the case then you can use other port than 21 so uh, here is my server TBS uh, client is my server that I selected to install and set up FTP so in order to do that in order to add the feature uh, in Windows 2012 you need to click on server manager click on add and add roles and features click next click next and here is my server right here and if you go all the way down you will see web IIS services keep in mind that FTP is part of web IIS um, role so expand that and you will see FTP server tab right here expand that tab and we need to install FTP service and FTP extensibility. So let's go ahead and select both. Click next. And that's all we need to do. Click next. And just so that you know that uh, after you add FTP server, these two roles right here and add the features, then you don't need to restart your PC. But uh, if you wanted to go ahead and click on restart destination, if it's required, it's going to not ask you that whether you wanted to uh, restart your fo uh, your computer. It's going to go ahead and restart automatically if it is required by the feature. But just so that you know that it is not required. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click that and install it's going to take take minute or two to install the these features alright installation is completed let's go ahead and close this now we can access click on tools and click on internet information services right here let's look at internet up here uh, sites as you can see right now we have only one site that is default site that means we don't really have any site so in order to configure FTP server, you need FTP server URL to be added in this site and we will create FTP site uh, as a part of this setup. Uh, so a couple things I wanted to mention here uh, in order to set up, uh, before you set up your uh, FTP server, you need to do a couple things. One is to create a folder where you can keep your FTP data when user will connect uh, your to your FTP they will come they will have access to that folder and all the um, material that you wanted to uh, exchange back and forth with the external vendors you can go ahead and place those things in that particular folder in my case I have uh, basically created a folder right here in C called uh, FT, uh, TBS FTP Tech Brothers FTP and I have created one file right here in this scenario what I want want to do is that I have a file I want external vendor to come here and 
uh, basically read this file this is my FTP file they can come and read it or they can come and download this file and FTP is basically file transfer protocol so uh, that's mostly is uh, is used for so I'm going to go ahead and point everything to this folder and uh, as far as users concern you can create uh, users uh, in Windows 2012 if you click on server manager and go to tools and click on computer management and click on users and group right here click on users and I have already created FTP user but let's go ahead and create another user external vendor and I'm going to go ahead and select cannot change the password or password will never expire and give the password you do need to provide this password to the external vendor so that they can use username and password to connect to your FTP so I'll go ahead and create that close so we have created a user right here and we have created a folder right here and that these two things will be you will be will be using uh, these two things in our setup so let's close this all right so right now we don't have any site we do need to create FTP site right click on the uh, site and click on add FTP site and right here is the name whatever the name you wanted to give to your FTP site I'm going to go ahead and TBS FTP this is my name tech brothers FTP and physical path is what the folder that you just created and in my case I'm going to go ahead and point it to C and Tech Brothers FTP that's the folder click next up here all unassigned IP you do want to click up here and click the IP address of this server in my case TBS client has uh, uh, the IP 192.168.44 if you don't know what is the IP of your server you can go ahead and click up here and click CMD and click IP type IP config and it'll tell you that what is your IP address in my case it is 192.168.1.44 so I'm going to go ahead and select that and I'm going to use this as 1992 so this would be the port that I'll be using and uh, for this demo purposes I'm going to click on no uh, secure socket uh, up here so I'm going to go ahead no SSL so there there won't be any certification but uh, for production you will not choose this you will basically uh, require SSL that is the most secure um, way to connect to your FTP and have communication with external world so click next and authentication is uh, if you click on anonymous it's not gonna basically ask the password and all that uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on basic authentication because we do want uh, that every time a user try to connect to our FTP server it asks the password now authorization up here that uh, we need to select certain users obviously those would be our vendors uh, in big organization we have a lot of vendors if we wanted to uh, have other vendors to connect to our FTP server we need to basically select the users for that so I'm going to go ahead and click on specified user in my case uh, one is going to be administrator and other are just you know depend on uh, read or write what permission you wanted to give so in my case uh, up here I'm going to go ahead and TBS or FTP user is one user that I've created I wanted to give um, read and write click finish as you can see the site has been created right here in order to uh, add more users you need to click on FTP authorization rules double click on that and after that you can go ahead and see that what user you have allowed to connect to your FTP in order to create uh, in order to add more users you need to click right click and allow add allow rule 
and click on specified user again and up here I'm going to go ahead and just what I have created so I'm going to just give write a, a read access to external vendor okay I'm going to add another user and that would have all the access right here so our uh, TBF um, FTP site is completed so let's go ahead and take a look on binding right here and click on edit as you can see that it's type FTP and this is the server IP address and if you have DNS entry for this server and host name you can go ahead and place that here and port we're using 1992 so close that and now we're going to go ahead and um, check that if this port is open in our firewall it uh, right up here if says it says FTP firewall support if you double click on that and you can uh, up here uh, s do some settings but the way I do I will go ahead and click on firewall and click on inbound rule if you click on inbound rule all the way you go to FTP right here FTP traffic in and FTP server passive and FTP secure you will see that it's allowed but um, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned that this is uh, basically the TCP 21 this is not the port that we're using so keep in mind that you need to enable uh, this uh, TCP 1992 that we are using in my case I'm using that you need to allow that uh, let's uh, make the video a little bit short I'm going to go ahead and disable the firewall for now and uh, so that we won't run into any issues but uh, if you need to basically go ahead and create that you can create a new rule and uh, in that new rule that you can uh, allow 1992 FTP traffic so I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows Firewall, click on Properties, and this is just this is not recommended. This is just for demo purposes. Click OK. All right, our firewall is all set. Now let's go ahead and access uh, our FTP ex uh, internally. So we're going to go ahead and open Internet Explorer and we're going to go ahead and FTP and this is 1992. As you can see that I can see this is uh, the way that you access from Internet if you have if you're using port other than 21 right here is 1992. Let's take this port out and click on view and open FTP right here and see if we get connected as you can see that Windows cannot access the path so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and we will go ahead and access our URL with 1992 port right away we're able to if you can click on right here is are the users so in my case I'm going to go ahead and test our TBA um, FTP user as you can see that FTP user can see this file if you double click and provide the password again I'm going to go ahead and um, All right, I can read the file and it says hell world. I meant to say hello world. Um, anyhow, so you can access your FTP internally. Um, just keep in mind that if you wanted to access your uh, uh, 
um, FTP externally I am going to write down right here uh, if you're uh, just at home and you are testing and you're learning FTP what you need to do is uh, router you would have a router at your home so you need to go into your router and allow uh, 1992 and uh, that would be FTP also uh, application name in your router I can't show you right now uh, I'm connected wireless right here I have to connect uh, basically using uh, my Ethernet uh, wire connection in order to access my router if um, if I would have I would have shown you that uh, what setting I did in order to access externally um, number one uh, what I did was uh, uh, allowed um, a 1992 uh, FTP uh, application and 192.168.1.44 and this is the server where I installed this is TBS client where I installed FTP server so this rule that you need to let it come to your network and you need to do it on your uh, uh, router but keep in mind that my router had this port blocked that's why I couldn't use default port but it's good anyway because um, sometimes you want to learn that we don't want to use the default port so <clears throat> this uh, this would be uh, 1992 once you open that you can go ahead and uh, uh, I'll show you two ways to do it one from Internet Explorer and this is the way that you will access Internet Explorer let me show you how to access FTP using CMD so all you would do is basically let me go ahead and right click um, right click run and FTP this will open the FTP all you need to do is open the IP address 168.1.44 in if you're accessing externally you you don't need to provide this password uh, this user uh, I'm sorry IP address because this is not gonna work well what, what you need to do is uh, open your Internet Explorer go to Google and say what is my IP address so in my case my IP address is right here and what you will do let me um, what you will do right here is type that pass uh, IP address and then you will provide one port number 92 so right now it says connection refused um, because um, I'm not really uh, connected right there so um, if you wanted to do check from this computer right here I will do 192.168.1.44 and I will be able to connect right here so it's a uh, the username is FTP user password is right here and I am logged in so this is how you will uh, basically externally set it up and externally use it I know that uh, maybe there would be some issues when you're setting it up on your router but if you do have some issues please leave it in comments and I'll be happy to um, help you to resolve that issue and I hope this video helps